Hey guys, on today's video, I'm gonna talk about how to fix a small engine that's giving you a little bit of trouble. And in this scenario, it's in this old uh, Cub Cadet lawnmower that's got a Kohler 18 horse. And what it's doing is throttling up and throttling up and throttling up. So it's kind of just revving for no good reason. And it's a problem that is known as hunting. And what I'll do today is just kind of tell you how to solve it. But if you're interested in these kinds of videos, you're interested in interested in uh, engine type things, car type things, just make sure you hit the little subscribe button to support my channel. And if you have any comments as this video goes along, mention it in the comments section and I'll do my best to respond to them. Uh, but let's get to the chase here and talk about how to, how to fix this problem, how to kind of diagnose it. And if you have an engine that's hunting or just kind of erratically revving, what it really means is that, is that that engine is starved. And it could be starved of one of two things. It's either fuel starved or air starved. And the procedure to kind of fix it is usually gonna to be to kind of look at the easiest, cheapest things first. So uh, to check if it's air versus fuel starved, one thing you can do is um, pull the choke if it's a manual choke. So in this case, um, this motor seems to seem to run a little bit better at about a quarter choke. So what that indicates to me is that the motor is fuel starved and not air starved. So in the event that it was air starved, if you choked it, which would basically restrict the air and dump a little bit more fuel, it would actually run a, a little bit worse in that scenario. Where in my case, it's fuel starved. So by restricting the air and dumping a little extra fuel, it actually helped the motor. So that's a big deal. So that's, that's kind of a quick and easy way to tell which of which it is. That's not to say that, um, you shouldn't just replace your air filter if you haven't done so in a while. So it might just be a good time to do it. Um, if you do pull the choke and it does run worse, no brainer. Your, your option is probably going to be just swap out your air filter, let that thing breathe a little better, and it probably will fix your problem. Um, but in the more likely scenario that it actually is a fuel starved motor, you're going to want to start with the easiest and obvious things first. So one thing that could happen is if you have a plugged vent uh, in your gas cap, that could basically create a vacuum in your, your gas tank that just isn't gonna let that thing deliver the fuel that it needs. I've actually never seen that happen, but I've heard that's a really common cause. The very much more likely cause in my mind is gonna be a clogged fuel filter so that's another quick easy fix those cost about five dollars and they run right in line between the fuel tank and the carburetor so that will be a quick change that if that doesn't fix it move on to the next step um, the next thing in line would be your fuel pump which let's kind of skip over that because i doubt that's what what the problem is but it could be and what the most likely problem that's causing your motor to be fuel starved um, is going to be a dirty carburetor. So these these things like lawnmowers and snowblowers, they run hard for six months out of the year and they sit for six months out of the year. So the gas kind of sits in the carburetor, can kind of varnish up. Um, you could also just run some bugs through there, some dust through there. So a lot of things could just clog these really tiny, tiny little holes in your carburetor. So you're going to want to um, you know, step three after you've changed your fuel filter and you found out that didn't fix the problem, clean your carburetor. It's pretty much free to do. You, you wanna buy some carb cleaner, so maybe it's about a $5 job. You buy some carbon choke cleaner. Um, you can get it at the AutoZone or the um, Home Depot. I'll put a link for this stuff in my description, so if you wanna buy it off of Amazon, you can buy it from there. But to take a carburetor off, I'll kinda of show you visually how to do it on this lawnmower but it's going to be pretty similar on honestly like any small engine the process is going to be like this you're going to take your fuel filter assembly off it's going to be a fuel filter housing a filter and then something that holds that housing to the carburetor um, in this case all you need is a flathead screwdriver to do so um, next you're going to want to unhook any throttle linkage and any choke linkage which is basically just unhooking a couple cables. Um, you're gonna wanna unhook the fuel line. Um, just keep in mind, if you unhook the fuel line, you wanna turn off the, um, the gas. So like in this case, I have a little twist off style uh, shut off valve for my 
fuel and a lot of them have like a 90 degree turn style so just shut that off or you're just going to spill some gas you don't really want to spill gas everywhere um, and then the carburetor is usually held on by um, two little nuts in some cases it might be held on by like a, a hose clamp on a rubber uh, kind of intake tube but in this case it's held on by two little nuts so you pop that off and now you've got your carburetor in your hand and really what you're going to do there is just take the whole thing apart um, and just really really be conscious of where everything you took apart came from so you can put it back together in the same way and any little hole that fuel or air might flow through you just want to clean the heck out of it so clean it with um, your carb and choke cleaner um, you can also use little things like um, like pipe cleaners or in my case I use um, welding MIG tip cleaners which are like a three or four dollar thing you can get at the Home Depot so just clean it out and spray like where the gas goes into the carburetor which is going to be where your one quarter inch or five sixteen inch hose um, goes in there disassemble the float assembly um, pop the needle the float needle seat out Make sure that slides real nice because that could stick. That's another way you could get starved. And then the, the really big thing is going to be your um, main jet. So that's going to be a little brass nut looking thing um, with a hole in it. So just make sure that's like super, super clean and then spray all the way through anywhere that beyond that main jet to get that into the main air tube, to get that fuel into the air tube. Uh, What's crazy to me is like when you do this, you'll clean your carburetor and you think you pull the thing apart and you're like, this carburetor looks perfectly clean. There's no way this could be my problem. But nine out of 10 times you clean it and you put it back together and it runs perfect. So I think these carbs can just get kind of like varnished over them, get like a film on them and just become a little bit more restrictive. And they're just so sensitive to that fuel air ratio. So if it's just dumping just a little bit less air for, or a little bit less fuel for the amount of air that you're putting in the motor, it's just not going to run right. So um, clean it up and put it back together. And that really should solve your problem. Um, in the off chance that that doesn't solve your problem, the next thing to check is uh, your fuel pump. And a lot of these mowers will have like a, a pulse activated style pump or actually a mechanical pump that runs off the cam. So. Um, check your fuel pump and beyond that like really that's it like there's just not much to these lawnmowers like to the fuel delivery you don't have fuel injection you don't have to worry about injectors you don't have to worry about you know real crazy fancy fuel pumps you don't have um, crazy computers so um, really in your backyard it's really a pretty easy thing to diagnose and to fix so give it a try. Let me know if you try it. Let me know if it fixes your problem. I hope it does. And uh, thanks for watching my video.